Hi, here we are, 2013, another VM World, back at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. 22,500 of my closest friends. And what have we come to hear about? Well, we gather together, and you're going to hear from my ESG colleagues talking about um, the channel, the overall view of VMware in the market, storage, backup, and a host of other things. But I think the big takeaway that I took from all their comments, which you'll hear in just a second, is that if you think about VMware, when it first started, it was very much a company that was there to, to aid the data center, to make the data center work better. And now what's clear, we're at a maturity stage for the organization where it is becoming the data center. Broad, top to bottom, and as wide as you like in any form you like. Here's what my colleagues had to say. This is my eighth year coming to VMworld, and some may say that there's more of a drumbeat that's happening here more than any big surprising news. But I'd say there's a couple things to keep in mind. One, look at what's happened from a virtualization perspective of compute. Now VMware is turning it to, into storage more, and also the things that they're doing from a networking perspective. So the thing that I found really interesting the last couple days is the vCloud hybrid services, VCHS, um, and what it means to the enterprise. So. Many, many people have kind of sat on the fence with regard to cloud, and now they have an alternative for hybrid cloud offering from VMware. VMware 2013 has certainly been one marked by some pretty big announcements with networking. Most importantly, the NSX announcement. And why this is important, they obviously announced it earlier this year, but now they're strengthening the positioning of the NSX. And really, the big news here is that they've got an ecosystem of partners that they've come out with and are integrating with the NSX API to help de deliver a broad set of solutions for the NSX. That'll include integration with physical network partners as well as network services. So load balancing, security, et cetera, WAN optimization. So all those things are going to be critical to help accelerate the adoption of the NSX, especially integration with those physical networks where you'll have that visibility between the virtual network and the physical links. The seamlessness that we got to see today from uh, the vCloud Automation Center and vCloud Operations Suite, um, those kinds of things from a management point of view of being able to really manage the hybrid cloud are going to be extremely, extremely useful and powerful in the data center. And we'll set them apart, I think, in, in many, many ways. This is my second VM world, and it's clearly full of energy and, and life. It's just amazing what VMware has done to the storage community. The message this year is all about it's safe to virtualize tier one applications and what VMware is doing with vSphere 5.5, with their vCN announcements this week, with how they're leveraging cache across the stack and really how they're tying together the stack, they're making big strides in getting there. Moving forward, it's going to be really interesting to watch how VMware competes with Microsoft and what they're doing in storage spaces and how the general storage industry reacts as we start using DAS as a real a uh, viable back end for virtualized environments. If you're going to put all your eggs in one basket, it better be a really good basket. So at VMworld, what that translates to is if you're going to virtualize all your servers, you better be able to back them up. There are lots of announcements here at VMworld about people that want to talk about how to back up their vSphere environments. Um, EMC recently had a full suite of announcements around what networkers are doing with Avamar backups and integration with vCenter UI. Uh, Veeam just announced V7 and what they're doing with tape integration. Commvault still enjoying some Pana 10. And even on back of as a service and DR as a service, you got stuff coming out around Acronis and Tentry and Asigra. It seems like there's a lot of folks talking about backup. In fact, actually the only people we haven't heard from yet is maybe VMware. They talked a little bit about hosting hybrid um, with uh, DR as a service, and we know that vSphere 5.5 has new enhancements for 5.5, but that's for another blog later. If you're going to put all your eggs in one basket, at least at VMworld, you ought to be able to back it up. You'll see VMware and the competition really heating up here is from a hybrid cloud perspective. So VMware is doing their own pretty North America based today, but growing globally over time. So you're going to see competitors from Amazon, Microsoft, and other service providers really ratchet this up. So as a customer right now, I'm sorting through what can I do from a virtualization perspective, tying in storage, networking, all the management things VMworld's doing, and also looking at it from a service provider or public cloud perspective. A couple of key announcements here at VMworld 2013 that we see impacting the partner community. Um, the introductions of uh, hybrid cloud and three different delivery models, either directly by VMware, uh, from their service provider partners or the new franchise option we see is uh, possibly inducing some stress and some different opportunities um, in the channel. 
The second is the introduction of the NSX virtualization um, platform for networking. And uh, I see this as actually uh, being potentially more disruptive in the channel, forcing partners to learn new technologies, form new partnerships, and also um, exercise a completely different set of sales motions. Um, VMware is addressing these by looking at extending the value chain, the value model in their partnering structure, but it's going to be all about how they execute on that, how they provide, provide an ROI opportunity and convince partners to invest. Big announcement with Savas, awesome stuff. Seeing that they're going to take VCHS, hard to say, um, VCHS or what some people are calling it, and being able to um, have companies like Savas stand up a VMware certified cloud. Uh, something that uh, I think all of us were kind of wondering about in terms of how does it affect the service provider and partner community. So while all the NSX announcements this week were really great, we also look forward to future announcements highlighting customer adoption. There's so many storage announcements, it's become one of the biggest storage shows in the industry. Um, way too much to cover here, I'll cover that in another blog, but if I were you, I'd be keeping an eye on what VMware's doing with vSAN, what Microsoft is doing with storage spaces, what the implications might be for the traditional storage vendors out there.